Hi families and children of Farallon, this is Miss Erin from the Children's Room at the Farallon Library. Um, I'm here today and a couple other days just to present you with some videos you can do at home that revolve around yoga and mindfulness and different practices that you can do while you're home during this kind of scary nervous time because I know for some of my friends, my children out there, um, it can be a little bit scary and a little nerve. you can be a little nervous. So this is a good opportunity for you to find ways to just stay calm and relax because it is proven to help. So what I'm gonna do is present you with, um, you know, a video about like just mindful breathing and how you can kind of just relax yourself using breathing exercises, even for five minutes, it'll just help you kind of center in on yourself. And I'll also be here to present videos with yoga sequences that you can do at home with your grownups or on your own or with a sibling and how you can make it um, a little more fun and entertaining for yourself. So I'm going to get started here with some just breathing exercises that you can practice at home just to kind of center yourself, make yourself feel a little more calm. If you feel at any point that you're nervous and you need something to do, just if you don't have a yoga mat like I do, find a towel, find a spot on the rug, just prop yourself there and really just focus on what I'm doing here with you and I'll be here to guide you. So what you wanna do is you wanna come sit like me and this is what is this called easy pose. It's kind of like crisscross applesauce. You wanna put your hands just flat on your knees and just sit up nice and tall for me with your back straight because that's just how you're gonna get comfortable. All right, and then you can kind of practice just regular breathing. So you're gonna breathe in, hold it for as long as you can. Whenever you're ready, you just let it out. But a deep breath. So you're gonna do it one more time in. And let it out. Again, in. And let it out. So you just wanna keep practicing this again and again. This is very basic breathing. I'm not adding anything different to it. You're just feeling the breath go in and out of your body feeling how it moves, kind of getting used to your breath, because sometimes we don't always pay attention to it. So we're gonna keep breathing. One, breathe in. Two, three, let it out. Just a couple more times, breathe in. Through your nose. Out through your mouth. Start to kind of go into tune with it. Breathe in again. And out. And now I want you to just put your hand on your bellies as you breathe in, you're going to tighten up your stomach and you're going to pull in your stomach all the way. You feel that breath in your body. Ready? So take a deep breath in, pull in your stomachs, and then you just let it out and you feel all your stomach kind of pour into your hand. So you're letting that all loose. Try it again. Ready? Hand on your stomach, breathe in. Hold it as long as you can. Whenever you're ready, let it out and feel the way your breath moves in your belly. One more time. Breathe in. and let it out. One more time, breathe in, and let it out. Perfect, at any point in this video, you can pause it um, or stop it if you wanna just continue practicing certain breathing exercises that I show you, um, just to keep going with the ones that you're comfortable with. But now I'm just gonna move on. You're still gonna stay in this nice relaxed pose, sitting nice and tall. You may close your eyes if you want, just listen to my voice. You're just gonna keep breathing. So we did basic breathing. We put our hands on our bellies, felt where the breath was moving. And now we're gonna try something called snake breath. So that's really where you're going to make your mouth into the shape. This is a fun breathing exercise. You're gonna put your mouth into the shape of a little O, kind of like when you're like, oh, but just a smaller O. And when you breathe in, you're breathing in normally through your nose. When you let it out, you're gonna let your breath out through that O. It's gonna sound like a snake hissing, All right? So we'll try it together. I'll do it once and then whenever you're ready, you can try it with me. Breathe in normally and let it out. Breathe in again and let it out. Breathe in again and let it out. So what I like to do is when I have a big group, at this point, I'll ask you to hold, see how long you can hold your hissing sound with your breath, okay? So you can try that at home with me. Let's see if you can even do it longer than I can. I don't know. Ready? Sit up nice and straight. Take a deep breath in. And then let it out. So 
that's how long I could do it for. If you could do it longer than I can, that's amazing. Great job. So we're doing a really good job right now. Now we're going to do a different kind of breath. What I call it candle breath. So you're going to pretend that you're holding a candle in front of your mouth. You don't want to blow that candle out yet. You just want to kind of slowly let the fire wiggle just a little bit, but you don't want it to be blown out. So you're going to do a really soft breath out. Okay, ready? Take a deep breath in and slowly, slowly just blow it out. So you see, pretend you see that little fire wiggle back and forth, but you're not extreme, you're not blowing it out completely. All right, take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. Good job. One more breath in and let it out slowly. One more for me, breath in, and let it out nice and slow. But this time I'm gonna let you blow it out so you can breathe out as hard as you can to blow out that candle. So take a deep breath in and blow out your candle. Perfect, I'm gonna do one more with you. This one's called Lion Breath. So if you're getting a little uncomfortable now, sitting in easy pose, you can kind of adjust and sit how it's more comfortable for you. If you wanna sit in a kneeling pose like this, that's totally fine also just to get a little more comfortable, whatever is comfortable for you. We're gonna try Lion Breath, and this one's a little fun. It kind of gets all of our energy out. So you're gonna make your hands into claws like me, just like this. You're gonna breathe in like normal, but this time when you let it out, you're going to roar as loud as your grown-up says you can, like a lion. You don't wanna be really, really loud, but you do wanna just roar as loud as you can, okay? Ready? We're gonna breathe in together, and when you let it out, you're gonna roar like a lion. Let it out whenever you're ready. Roar! Ready? Breathe in one more time. Let it out when you're ready. Roar! Breathe in again. Let it out when you're ready. Roar! Good job. We're gonna do it one more time. Do the loudest roar you can ever do. All right, breathe in again. Let it out and go. Roar! Perfect. Now that we kind of get a handle on different types of breaths, we're gonna do one more thing. Usually at the end of our poses, we'll do something called Savasana. Well, we'll just lay straight, lie flat on our backs and just do a deep rest and relaxation where we focus only on our breathing. Sometimes people, sometimes um, when I do yoga with my friends at the library, some of them joke that they fall asleep because it's supposed to be a really peaceful time. But this will also help just if you're doing it during the day for a few minutes. You lay flat on your back like this, your eyes closed. Try not to move, try to be as still as you can, make it a little challenge for yourself and just take some deep breaths in like we, I taught you, just basic deep breaths. So let it out, you can put your hand on your stomach, take a deep breath in, and let it out. Take another deep breath in, let it out, and just keep doing that. Now I'm going to sit up because usually at this time, whenever I do yoga at the library, when I have my uh, kids do savasana, I usually pull out a story to read to them while they're laying down and relaxing, just so they have something to focus on. So if you would like to continue to do the savasana, just lay completely still on your back, you may continue to do that while I just pull out a story to read. Um, during that time, just so you can focus on my voice and kind of relax just like that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start. You can get nice and comfortable into that lying down position, your hands flat next to you. You should be breathing in nice and slow for me, breathing in and out, and your ears should be listened and tuned into my voice. This story is called, We've Got the Whole World in Our Hands. I want everyone to take a deep breath in here. If you don't feel like laying down and you just kind of want to sit up, and be still and practice your breathing, that's totally okay too. You can do whatever is comfortable for you, but the focus is gonna be on the words that I'm saying and the focus on how you're breathing. All right, take a deep breath in and let it out. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got you and we've got me in our hands. 
We've got the whole world in our hands. Take a deep breath in, let it out, feel yourself relax. We've got the sun and the rain in our hands. We've got the moon and the stars in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the wind and the clouds in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the rivers and the mountains in our hands. We've got the oceans and the seas in our hands. We've got you and you've got me in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got everybody here in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got everybody everywhere in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. We've got the whole world in our hands. That's it, just keep breathing in and out. And if you were lying in that samasana or just sitting still, you can kind of slowly start to open your eyes. I always say wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, let your body kind of wake up. Get ready to sit up nice and tall for me. Before we go, we're just gonna do another key, deep breath in and let it out slowly. All right, thank you all for joining me. Stay tuned for some other yoga related videos.